Hello, this is Brit Jets PSX Tips, the Aerowinx PSX 747 desktop simulation. Today, the second of two videos on the 747-400 pre-flights using British Airways procedures. This one, start up to take off. Okay, so the second half of the video, uh, pre-flight checklist is complete. We're now going to go through the whole thing from pushback engine start to the point at which we start to taxi. So we've got a clearance from air traffic control. Uh, we've put a squawk, a sign squawk in the transponder and got clearance from the engineering to pressurize the hydraulics. Uh, so now we do the before start procedure followed by the before start checklist. So Gary's going to do the before start procedure. Uh, so the number four, pump goes to aux not first, that's to prevent fluid transfer through the brake system into any other tank. Number one to aux, number two and three to auto. Then all pumps in the main tanks with fuel on, including the overrides. And if we have more than 7.7 .7 tonnes in the centre then we put those on as well, but we haven't got it today. Having done that we press the, re the beacon to both, press the recall button and what we're looking to see is if we've got a tank to engine message. Uh, we haven't got that, so we're good. Now press cancel. Set the stab trim to what is on my side, which is 5.5. Gary's doing that with his uh, control wheel trim switch. And when he's set that, put the transponder to XPDR. When I see that, I just ask for the before start checklist, please, Gary. Okay. Before start checklist, flight deck door. Close and locked. Passenger signs. They are on and on. Beacon. Both. Transponder. XPDR. That's the before start checklist. Completed, thank you very much. Okay, we've got clearance from air traffic control to push to face north. Uh, so the check's completed. I'm going to talk to ground and tell them that we're okay to push. So uh, on the flight interphone, selecting microphone and transmitting. Hello ground, uh, flight deck. Uh, we are clear to push to face north. So there we are pushing back now. Uh, all we need to do at this stage is to get the engines ready for starting. So there'll be a normal two engine auto start today. Uh, so the packs would go off. Gary, select the engine on the lower ICAS and uh, start three and four, please. So start switch is pulled and fuel control switch is to run. The auto start system will uh, start the engines for us. The only thing to check is at the completion of the engine start that you've actually got uh, oil pressure. Hydraulic pressure demand 4 is a message which will come up uh, in this start sequence because you've got the uh, demand pump switched to aux, that's fine, we cancel that. We're waiting on the engines for the red cursors to disappear on the start sequence. Are set to park. Time system removed and steering pin removed. Cursors have disappeared. Start one and two, please. Okay. So same again. You can start uh, two engines at a time as long as the temperature doesn't exceed 30 degrees centigrade. Uh, if it does exceed 30, then you can only start one engine at a time. Uh, thank you, Gary. That's the demand pump message for the other uh, demand pump. Cancel that. Once these engines have started, without prompting from me, Gary can go through the uh, after-start procedure, which is actually technically before taxi procedure. Okay. So now uh, Gary's going to do the before taxi procedure. APU goes off. All the ADPs go to auto. The anti ice we check in auto today across to the aft cargo heat that goes on. All packs go to normal. Now press the status 
protected status is clear. Then the flaps to the setting, which today will be 20. And then back up to the recall to make sure you've only got TCAS off. So that's SFR, set flaps right, is a good way of remembering it. When he's done that, uh, I can see there it's correct. Now I'm going to check the controls. Uh, here on first, I should have three indexes going up, two coming down, and the other way, three indices going up and two coming down, and the elevators two down, slowly coming back. On the real aircraft you do this nice and slowly, it's a lot of material at the back of the airplane wobbling up and down. And then finally with the rudders, warning him because I'm about to kick his rudders as well. Two right, centered, and two to the left and centered. And when he sees that, cancel the status. And I ask for the before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist, flight control. Checked. Anti-ice. Auto. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Flaps. 20 selected. Ground complaints. Seen is gone. That's the before taxi check this complaint. Thank you very much. So we've got our taxi clearance from air traffic control. At this point we stop being P1 and P2. I become pilot flying and Gary becomes pilot not flying from the point of view of how things are done. So we clear your side Gary. Clear. Okay, we'll clear my side. I'll put on the outboard lights and the power brake coming off. And uh, we're going to taxi to two seven right. And the initial part of the uh, taxi on Boeing procedures, you do very little except make sure you don't hit anything. Uh, maximum EPAs as you taxi shouldn't be more than about 1.08. But these weights are probably require a lot less than that. So we're going to taxi towards two seven right, and we'll join you later for uh, the bit before takeoff. So all the way on the taxi out here, we've done absolutely nothing except avoid other traffic. Uh, there are two trigger points for doing things. One is the cabin ready message comes through, and if we use bar cars, we've actually got a, a final load sheet come through on the printer as well. Once we've got those, uh, what I'm going to do is select weather on my uh, app display. Uh, it could be terrain, depending on the situation. And Gary would select uh, RATA on the transponder. Once he's done that, I would ask for the uh, before takeoff checklist, please, Gary. Okay. Before takeoff checklist. Final load sheet. Acknowledged. Flaps. 20. Trim. Looking in for a moment. Five and a half. Zero, zero. So takeoff. Takeoff briefing. Updated if you're happy. I'm happy. Uh, runway speed. EPA VNAV. Two seven right. Speeds are in. EPAs are derated. And VNAVs are off. So cabin report. We have received got a cabin ready. Transponder. Uh, we have Rata. Before takeoff, checklist complete. Okay, we're clear to line up and take off. Uh, now at this weight, we are below 300 tons. So BA then leaves the packs on. If we're above 300 tons, we would switch the packs off. But the only other thing for Gary to do is to any more lights I want, which is I don't need any more, and the strobes on. Okay, strobes on. Uh, we'll taxi on and take off. Turning onto the runway, just check on the TCAS if you're using uh, one of the add-ons that you haven't got any traffic coming in. Ground traffic won't show on uh, TCAS, for real. So what I would say for real now is I'd say, well, is everybody ready? Yep, ready. Just to really abuse them, I'd say what could possibly go wrong. But then we brief for all that, haven't we, Gary? We have. <laughs> okay, clear for takeoff, and the wind was 220 or something, I seem to remember. Yeah. Alright, starting my clock. Can't we see? Stable. 